Don't throw it away. I think they took this book to heart. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Ford from This Sold Find. Uh, we're back at it today at another estate sale, getting ready to hit the ground running and get the sale set up. As you can see behind me right there, uh, we got a dumpster, so that's a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go take a look at this house. All right, so we have our work cut out for us today. When you walk in here, this is what we're dealing with. Like, there's a huge stamp collection. Um, this mid-century bar buffet unit is absolutely amazing piece. We have two bedrooms upstairs. Uh, this one, I guess, is more like a library. And the second one is more or less a traditional bedroom. All right, to the basement we go. Oh boy. This is why a dumpster is so good to have here. Man, look at all this stuff. This video does not do it justice. We have this huge wall of stuff separating this big open basement here. Need to bring some lights over here. It's just packed, guys. Totally packed. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so this basement is definitely stressing me out. I don't think I'm going to start down here right now. I'm going to go upstairs, uh, help my mom, and wait for the rest of our staff to get here, throw up some tables, start getting it organized, start throwing stuff away, and see if we can't get this in tip-top shape for an estate sale. The world's small as pocket, what in the world is this stuff? Cracker Jacks? I don't know. Cracker Jacks toys. Okay. Little mini pocket knife. Here is. Oh, another one. I got little pocket knives over here. <clears throat> Strange find. Huh. Yeah. Well, it's starting to come along in the living room. Got some open space here for a checkout and hold area. Still going through these boxes and these shelves. Starting to get some work done in this front bedroom. Now, Mom, what'd you say this thing was? I think it holds gum. Holds back gum. In day, yeah, back in like the 50s, 40s, 50s, they had gum holders. So, like, instead of just throwing it out, you're just gonna yeah, leave it there? Yeah, gum in there. Oh, Ask nice. Glenda. What? Don't you think that's a gum holder? Remember they had these things where you held your gum? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's the okay. weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh -huh. Okay, wow. Well, that's... All right, so we found something interesting. It's the Music Toy Sound Wagon. Um, I found these before, and I've done a video about them before also, but um, it's basically a record player all in one. It's got the speaker, the needle, it goes on a record in a circle, and it's got the box and instructions and everything. So um, they can sell for pretty high, but it's probably worth about 75 bucks. All right, uh, we also found this really interesting thing. I think it's a flashlight. You open it up, it's got these two batteries in it, obviously super old, and I think that's a light bulb there. So some sort of flashlight, pocket flashlight. Very unique. All right, everyone, look at this uh, miniature camera. It's called the HIT camera. Uh, looking on eBay, they say it's a spy camera, but I don't really think it's a spy camera. I mean, it's just a cute miniature camera in a little case. All right, guys, have you ever seen the world's smallest razor? It's called the QT razor. There it is. Okay, just what everyone wanted. Go with your spy camera. All right, let me show you this. This is a jewelry Christmas tree. Um, it's made out of jewelry. They put it together with lights. And believe it or not, these are actually quite expensive. I think we're going to put around 100 bucks on this one. Um, they're kind of rare and sought after. And this family decided to keep it up uh, all year long, which is a bold choice for it being Christmas. But another unique find. I love this 1960s Chevrolet uh, catalog. It's very vivid. Man, look at the cars back in the day. I mean... Before all the regulations and the rules, but wow, how could you not want to buy one of these cars after looking at this ad? Really cool. 
take some more rings. All right, so it looks like it's jewelry time. Do you guys find any gold or anything special? Yeah, we found a couple pieces of gold jewelry, and all this is sterling. Whoa, sterling, yay. Yeah. That's cool. Lots of rings. Tons. Okay, okay. Yes. It's hard going through all that jewelry. Yes. Look at every piece. Here's a good housekeeping catalog from 1930. It's got some awesome advertising in it. It's two fifty on every. But really caught my eye were these surprise muddlers. I've never heard of that before. And if you read this box insert here, you can pause it and uh, take a look at it. I'm not going to read it all, but basically, if you look at it, a certain shadow. It's supposed to be a naughty image um, of a guy and a girl. Uh, I'll let you guys figure out that image there. But uh, what a weird thing. They are cocktail mixers. And it's just some of the strangest thing we find these sales. Wow. All right. I found something that I thought would be fun to try out. It is this tiny keychain cap gun what? it's got the little caps with it okay. all right so take this little tiny cap i can't even get it my hands are too big put it in there let's try it out all right i got it cocked whoa it works so there you have it the trueno souvenir mini cap pistol a definitely a unique find for this estate sale all right, what'd you just find? Show uh, me. Texaco a Christmas calendar for 1919. Texaco? In Te Texaco. Oh. Really nice condition. What was all the months still there? Uh, it looks like it starts on January and October. Was there 12 months back then? <laughs> uh, oh, well. That's still yeah, pretty cool. December, yeah. Uh, here. So you guys found some mid-century art? That's right. cool. I don't want him to get knocked over. Yeah, he's filming. You found toy guns? I just found the, Noah just found this wind up toy. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Put that in our good box. Oh. Yeah. All right, so we've been digging in the basement um, all day today. This is our third day here. And I found two things of note uh, the Nerf ball, it's in the packaging, it's from 1969. And, um, I mean, it's a weird thing to have kept and never opened or never taken out of the box, but it's probably a $20 to $30 item. The next is the Pet Rock. Uh, yes, there is a rock in here. And yes, there is instructions. And yes, you're supposed to treat it as a pet. This is from 1975, and it's probably another $15 to $20 item. So, there you have it. All right, so I went upstairs yesterday and I could not deal with the basement and we came down today with a bunch of people and we got it almost set up. It's so hard to tell in the pictures um, the difference because it still looks very messy but every, almost everything has been gone through and boy it took us all day. It took us five of us about six to seven hours to do it and it was a job. So we still have some more work to do tomorrow. It's a little bit messy over here. Have to go through these shelves, but I'm happy with what we've done so far. Check out these two killer chairs we found. I mean, they're absolutely killer. Uh, yeah, they're dirty and they need some cleaning, but for the most part, they're in great condition. The legs are really sleek on them. I think whoever picks these up is really gonna have an awesome find. All right, I think we have most of the trash out of the house, even though we're not quite done setting up, but let's do a dumpster check. <gasps> not quite half full yet, but there's going to be a lot left over the sale. They can fill it up. All right, so here we have it. At the end of day four of setting up this estate sale. Tomorrow starts the sale, and I just want to show you the before and after of some of these rooms. Let's go take a look.
All right, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you enjoyed kind of walking through with me uh, as we get ready to stage for an estate sale and all the fun stuff we found. Until next time, keep reselling, keep grinding, keep hustling. Bye.